The reason that Governor Ultrasound is called that, the reason that Bob McDonnell of Virginia has the nickname Governor Ultrasound, even now when it looks like he might be turfed out of office or criminally indicted for a totally unrelated scandal, uh, the way Bob McDonnell got the Ultrasound nickname is because of the bill that he supported as a state legislator over many, many years uh, and that he signed into law as governor of Virginia, which requires Virginia women to get ultrasound exams even if they do not want them, even if they do not need them, and even if their doctor does not want them to have them. The state legislature and Governor Ultrasound are the ones who have decided what medical procedure you will have and you will pay for by order of state law. Thus, he is known as Governor Ultrasound. But rightfully, he should not be the only Governor Ultrasound because he is not the only Republican governor to sign a forced ultrasound law in the last few years. They have them in Texas, in Louisiana, in Indiana, in Kansas, in Arizona, in Wisconsin. This is a relatively recent invention, this idea that state government should force you to have an ultrasound, essentially as the price of having an abortion even if you and your doctor do not want you to have an ultrasound. It's a relatively recent idea. But since the idea took hold, Republicans have been pushing it all over the country. And the push for these laws happened all at once, all over the country, not because Republican governors and legislatures all got the same idea all at once, but because of model legislation. A group called Americans United for Life, it's a big, well-funded anti-abortion group, they published a model bill, a, a template essentially for state legislatures on ultrasounds. The Sunlight Foundation did an analysis of more than a dozen Republican-controlled states where they moved ultrasound legislation. And they found overlapping language that seemed to indicate that all of these bills were derived from the Americans United for Life model bill on forcing women to have ultrasounds. Model legislation is something that a lot of different groups do on the left and on the right. There's nothing scandalous about that as a tactic in and of itself. What's remarkable about the forced ultrasound stuff is that Americans United for Life have been so successful with it, even though the Republican Party is ever and always trying to bill itself as a small government party, right? The Freedom Party, the party that leaves you alone, except for the ultrasound wand that they insist must be in... Never mind. Doesn't matter if you say no, doesn't matter if your doctor says no. Small government Republicans are mandating that it be done to you and that you pay for it. It is ideologically awkward, right? Which makes the widespread success of that model legislation all the more remarkable.